Joining us now on the show is Vijay Pambani, who is the author and CEO of PSPLindia.com. Good morning, Vijay. Lovely to have you with us on Morning Mantra. Would like to know the nifty range that you are mapping for today's session. Well, the market outlook is concerned. Uh, the nifty still remains below its uh, short and medium term uh, moving averages. And uh, it's uh, uh, closed below its 50-day uh, moving average for the sixth session in a row. There might be a corrective pullback upwards, but rallies are likely to get sold into. And as far as intraday pivot levels are concerned, the bullish pivot for the nifty spot is at 5,885 levels, above which the primary target will be 59.20 and a secondary target of 59.35. The closer the nifty spot gets to 59.25, the more I think short-term bulls will uh, want to um, uh, prune uh, their long exposure. On the flip side, the bearish pivot for the session will be at 58.70, below which the primary target will be 58.60 and a secondary target will be 58.25 levels. And Vijay, what are the trades you'd recommend this morning? Where trading ideas are concerned, I would want to buy Jain Irrigation in the cash segment at uh, 63.5, which is marginally lower than where it closed at on Friday. I would hold these long positions with a stop loss at 62 and I would expect to book profits at 67.5 in a couple of uh, days' time. So this is not necessarily a day trade, but traders might just have to hold on to their positions for a few sessions to arrive at the target price. My second uh, uh, a trade would be a buy again, this time on Balrampur Chini, uh, which saw a smart rally on uh, huge volumes on Friday and I would expect uh, uh, the follow-up buying to trickle down uh, in the, the coming uh, few trading sessions also. I would want to buy it at 50 levels, hold on to uh, these uh, deliveries in the cash segment at 50 with a stop loss at 46 and a half. I would expect to book profits at 55 levels in the next couple of trading days, so this also is again not an intraday trade. Okay, and finally, what's the strategy that you would recommend from the FNO side of the market? In the future space, I would want to <coughs> short DLF February futures at 250 levels, which is a marginal pullback from where it closed at on Friday. I would hold these short positions with a stop loss at 252.5, and, and I would expect to book profits at 245 or end of the day, end of the session, whichever comes first. Okay, sell so DLF futures with a stop at 252. Thanks very much, Vijay, for joining in with your trading recommendations.